So Armin, so you brought this up and I, I know you're building up your uh, your YouTube channel, which is going quite well. And I'll also tell you, YouTube, you know, they'll they'll flag, they have primitive artificial intelligence and they'll flag a discussion on this topic. So oh my you God. better be careful about keeping it in or not. What happens here is that you you have these uh, phenomenon that are that are pretty widespread. And I'll tell you how it manifests and makes this issue that we've been talking about in terms of healthcare staffing shortages uh, worse. So normally, let's say a few years ago, uh, if you were to come into the office as a, as let's say a 65 year old, you would come in and they would say, you know, here's what we're going to do for your physical, this, that, and the other. And by the way, now you're 65, you need to give you a pneumonia uh, vaccine and a, a meningitis vaccine and a few things like that. And you should have your COVID test and your flu shot and all that. Now, what I hear from physicians is they, they have to spend a lot of time, may, maybe most or all the appointment uh, debunking issues that have come up. Well, I saw on Fox News, it said, if you take this, you know, it's going to give you dementia or, you know, this, that, and the other. So there's actually these conspiracy theories and distrust of the medical profession are widespread now. And so it, it makes it difficult for the physician, even if they don't have those beliefs themselves, to be able to practice because a lot of the population has that. And it's also led, you know, a major issue we have in the U.S. now is uh, workplace violence. So people are actually physically threatened or even attacked and the physician, no different than, you know, somebody working in a, in a convenience store or something like that. So that's a challenge. And then we've also had, um, you know, it, it's just become more politicized beyond conspiracy theories. And that has to do uh, in particular, uh, if you look at uh, obstetric care and uh, gynecological care, uh, where the issue of abortion uh, has become very politicized after uh, the overturning of the Roe versus Wade decision in the U.S., which which uh, legalized abortion everywhere. Uh, now, on a state by state basis, uh, you know those forces are sort of going back and forth, and it's not as pure about abortion. A lot of it has to do with things like contraception right. uh, and care for uh, women who are pregnant uh, and so on. So this has uh, this has made things harder, um, and so it's kind of a combination of conspiracy theories and the politic politicization of medicine.